There's a city in Minnesota by the name of Wilmer. Did you know that there was a Wilmer tractor that was made in Minnesota? We have one right here, and Justin, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of a kind. Yeah, this is the only little oak around. This is it. The little oak, it was called. Tell us about some of the best features, the most prominent features of this tractor. Well, one of the unique things about it is it's chain drive. That's one of the most unique about it. Another one of the unique features is the plow is a power lift. It uses the engine to lift the plow up and down and so the operator doesn't have to do all that work. And then the other thing with this tractor is, is it's supposed to be the one-man operation. So you can get up there, you can start the tractor from the seat, you can run everything from the seat, you don't have to go around. It was, made, it was supposed to be the answer to everything. You got, you got uh, oil dripping on your chains to keep everything going. And, and then along with the oil, it also draws in all the dirt, you know, so that didn't work out too well. Let's talk about what's under the hood here. Can we take a look at that? Yeah, we'll take a look here. And again, we'll... Uh, it's we'll, a chain drive. Yeah, so they use chain to drive the belt pulley also. And then you got your differential and your two-speed in there. Um, and then you've got a radiator on this thing that's similar to a boiler. It's got tubes running through it, so the air passes through the tubes, and then there's water around the tubes. So that was kind of a radiator design of the period. One thing that comes to mind is the beautiful styling here. Back in that era, back there in 1917, that wasn't done much, was it? No, this they really covered everything up to make this thing look streamlined and Come on around. Let's efficient. Look at the front end here. Let's talk about the front end, about the radiator. Well, they got this screen over it to help keep the chaff out or whatever would get in your field. But, and if you look real close, you can see the tubes where your air travels through to uh, cool the engine off. But the side of it here where it says TNS standard, that really is a work of art. It's oh, beautiful. Yeah, everything. You know, and back early on in the late 1800s, early 1900s, there was a lot of decorating and uh, scrolls and things like that was real common back in that era. A chain oiler on both sides then. Yeah, yeah. Let's come on around and look at this plow back here with me. Let's talk about that a little bit. You mentioned the fact that it could be operated from right up there on the platform. Yeah, the plow has a, a pedal up there on the platform. You push the pedal down and that'll lift the plow up and down so that you don't have to grab the levers or anything so it makes it quick and easy to turn at the end of your rows. It actually looks like a rather comfortable seat, especially for that era. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, think about that. It, well, they're kind of copying a car. If you look up there, you'll see how the controls on the column are similar to cars of that era. And that seat is real similar to like what was found on a lot of cars, speedsters and things like that. Beautiful fenders, they almost extend out over the yeah, wheel. <laughs> yeah, they almost go over the wheel. It's a very impressive tractor when you look at it from one end to the other. A Wilmer Little Oak from Minnesota.